let us uh, try to solve this problem this is of second order differential equation and it is non homogeneous equation now the auxiliary equation corresponding to this would be that is a uh, which is m square minus 4 is equal to 0 so uh, it, since it is a quadratic uh, equation you will get two solutions for this so the two solutions which is m is equal to plus or minus 2 so that is minus 2 and plus 2 so the complementary function corresponding to this would be that is yc is equal to e to the power of minus 2x c1 plus c2 e to the power of 2x so so this is the complementary function corresponding to this let us uh, find the particular integral okay that is yp here so that is uh, 8x e to the power of 2x uh, this divides by d square minus 4 now let us try to solve this further now keeping uh, uh, now let us take d as d plus 2 fine so when I substitute it okay so let me substitute that so I get this as uh, 8 e to the power of 2x and x divided by that is I have substituted d plus 2 that is whole square d as d plus 2 whole square minus 4 so when I try to simplify this I get this as 8 into e to the power of 2x now x divided by this whole thing now if I take uh, 4d outside so 4d outside I would get 1 plus d by 4 inside right and this is brackets closed now further if I into it uh, further if I try to put it together so if I cancel these out right I'll have 2 in the numerator that is 2 e to the power of 2x here and 1 by d outside okay now now let us try to expand this so I get 1 minus d by 4 and plus d by 4 whole square here so on close the brackets so into x okay let us try to simplify this further so y p is p is now we have 2 e to the power of x which is outside so 1 by d I have this as outside also now if I multiply with x so now if you look at this if I multiply this with x for the first term and this term and rest becomes 0 so uh, let us ignore other terms here so I'll have x minus 1 by 4 here right now uh, 1 by d uh, is nothing but integral uh, dx here so let us do that integration over this so that would be 2 e to the power x integral uh, x minus 1 by 4 into dx so so this is 2 e to the power x and this is uh, x square by 2 minus x by 4 so, so we close the brackets here so the final result which is yp which I get as x square 
I get x square minus 1 by 2 uh, times that of e to the power of x. So this is your right thing. So y is equal to yc plus yp. So this is your yp and we have yc as this. So this is this is uh, this entire thing is your yc. So so that is the solution of the differential equation. Let us move on to the next problem here. First, let us find what is the auxiliary equation corresponding to this. So a that is m square minus 2m plus 4 is equal to 0. So since it is a quadratic equation, we will be having two solutions for this. So now to find that, let us find that. So this is m which is 1 plus or minus uh, this is root 3i. Right. So I got this. So the complementary function that is yc is e to the power of x and this is c1 cos root 3 into x plus c2 sine of root 3 into x. So I got this. So this is the complementary function. Now let us find what is yp here. So yp is now uh, we can consider d as t plus 1 here. Okay, let us consider that. Now that is now this is e to the power of x outside fine now you have cos x divided by now this is d plus 1 whole square minus 2d plus 1 okay plus 4 you have close the brackets I hope you understood this step now let us try to simplify this denominator so I get cos x divided by, by d square plus uh, 2d plus 1 and this is 2d uh, minus 2d and minus 2 so when I cancel this out so I will be left with only d square plus 3 here in the denominator now let us put d square as minus 1 square ok let us substitute that so I get so e to the power of x and uh, if I substitute this cos x divided by this is 1 minus 1 and plus 3 so this uh, would result to half of e to the power of x this is cos x so again y is equal to this is this entire thing is you know, yp so y is equal to yc plus yp so this is the solution of the differential equation Let us move on to the next problem here. Suppose if I have the differential equation, this is of second order differential equation. So it is non-homogeneous also. The auxiliary equation corresponding to this would be this is m square minus 2m plus 2 is equal to 0. So uh, this is quadratic equation. You have two roots here. So the roots are 1 plus or minus i so the complementary function that is yc which is uh, e to the power of x into c1 cos x 
plus c2 sin x right we got the complementary function here let us uh, try to find what is the particular integer that is yp here so yp being uh, this is now we have this as e to the power of x cos 2x now this divides by now let us substitute d as d plus 1 okay so let us substitute that so we get I get uh, I'll substitute d as d plus 1 let me write down here okay when I substitute it so I get d plus 1 whole square minus 2 d plus 1 right so this whole thing divides and plus 2 here now after simplifying this I get e to the power of x into this is cos 2x right cos 2x let me write down that clearly that's visible right so cos cos 2x right so that divides by now when I simplify the denominator so I get d square plus 1 in the denominator plus the brackets now let us substitute d square as minus 2 square now when I substitute that e to the power of x and uh, this is cos 2x 2x divides by minus 2 square plus 1 so close it so this if I try to simplify this I get minus 1 by 3 e to the power of x and this is cos 2x this is your yp so y is equal to yc plus yp so this is the solution of the differential equation Now let us move on to the next problem here. So what do we have? This is again a second order differential equation and it is non-homogeneous. Now first let us find the other equation corresponding to that. So that is uh, m square uh, minus 2m plus 2 is equal to 0. So the roots of this equations we get as 1 plus or minus i so the complementary function corresponding to this is e to the power of x and multiplied by c1 cos x plus c2 sin x here we got this so this is the complementary function let us find what is the particular integral that is yp here that is e to the power of x and if I take sin x right so let us substitute d as d plus 1 here so when I substitute this so I get d plus 1 whole square right minus 2 d plus 1 right and we have plus 2 here so close the brackets so what I have done is I substituted d as d plus 1 ok when I try to simplify this I get that as 
e to the power of x to sin x divided by this is d square plus b. So I get this. Now for the simplification, let me put now d square as as minus 1. When I substitute d square as minus 1, so this goes to 0. So what do we get? e to the power of x, maybe e to the power of x, this is sine x divided by minus 1 plus 1, this goes to 0. So uh, now we, the function which is f of d, which is d square plus 1, so we have to find the derivative of this. So that is 2d and multiply x in the numerator is what I am supposed to do. So x into sin x. Now I get 2d here. Now, now uh, 1 by d is nothing but integral dx. So let us integrate sin x. So uh, x e to the power of x divided by 2 integral sin x dx so this is I get that as now sin x is minus cos x here so I, get, I can write minus x square e to the power of 2x cos x divided by 2 this is your yp fine so y is equal to yc plus yp so this is the solution of the differential equation which we got it now let us prove the next try to solve the next problem here now this is again a second order differential equation and it is non-homogeneous equation here so let us first find the auxiliary equation corresponding to this so that is n square plus 3 is equal to 0 so we have the roots which is m which is plus or minus root 3 i okay now the complementary function yc is c1 root sorry uh, c1 cos root 3 x plus c2 sin root 3 x so this is the complementary function over here so let us find what is yp here so yp we have x square e to the power of 3x plus cos 3x divided by d square plus 3. Now we have got two particular integrals. Okay. So I'll label it as particular integral 1 and 2. So let us first find the particular integral which is 1. So that is uh, particular integral 1 which is uh, x square e to the power of 3x divided by d square plus 3. Okay and the particular integral 2 pi 2 so that would be cos 3 x divided by uh, d square plus 3 so this is the second particular integral let us first find the first particular integral here okay and label that as
available that as P1. Okay. Now, e to the power of 3x, let me put d as d plus 3 here. So, when I substitute it, d plus 3 in the denominator here. So, we have x square in the numerator. Let us put that. So, that is x square here divided by this is d plus 3 whole square fine plus 3 now let us try to find this so when we try to expand this whole thing so we arrive into e to the power of 3x into x square this divides by uh, this is d square plus 6d plus 12. Now, if I take 12 outside, so I'll be having e to the power of 3x. I'll be having e to the power of 3x here. This divides by 12. So, and if I bring it on the numerator, the whole term out of it, so I get 1 plus, now this is divided by 12, so this is d square plus 6d divided by 12 to the power of minus 1 into x square right now let us uh, try to expand this so i get e to the power of 3x divided by 12 now this is 1 minus d square plus 6d divided by 12 this is plus again you will have is d square plus 6d divided by 12 whole square right and so on I won't be requiring other terms here since it goes to 0 so let us multiply this and try to simplify it so I get e to the power of 3x this is divided by 12 if I multiply that with the first term, I get x square okay, and minus 1 by 12, right, the first term which is equal and this is 6 multiplied again with 2x here, okay, close the brackets here, plus, so, now uh, 12 square would be 144 so the denominator is 1 divided 144 here so the first term goes to 0 it is d power 4 and uh, as well as the d cube also it goes to 0 and here we have 36 times that of 2 because 2 times differentiation plus 0 close the brackets right so after simplifying this we get that as one by twelve e to the power of three x right so this is x square minus a one by six here one by six you get and minus x plus 1 by 1 by 2 right so further if I try to simplify this so this is uh, this is particular integral 1 that is p1 here so I get 1 by 36 
uh, e to the power of uh, 3x here if I try to simplify further I get this result so 3x plus 1 so this is p1 let us find what what is p2 p2 we had uh, cos 3x divided by this is uh, d square plus 3 now if I substitute uh, d square as minus 3 square so which is minus 9 so that gives the result of as the fraction which is minus 1 by 6 so this is p2 so yp is P, p1 plus p2 that is 1 by 36 uh, e to the power of 3x this is multiplied with 3x square minus 3x plus 1 and minus 1 by 6 cos 3x this is your yp so the y is equal to yc plus yp so yp being this and we have yc here so this is this entire thing is is your yc fine so we got this result now i hope you understood this problem On your window, you'll see subscribe and some of my latest videos. Also, you can have a look at that also, which will be displayed on the screen now. Thank you.